Michael, I know you stay active with the caucus and so much good work that they do. What's the most fulfilling part of it for you? Well, this morning we had a breakfast with eight young filmmakers that we're awarding tonight that we've been able to put up money to help them fil finish their films, uh, give them scholarships, um, kind of mentor them, give them notes on the you know, creative input. But the concept is we're trying to help them develop their, their talent and their skill without kind of oppression from uh, business sources and financial sources so that they yeah. can express themselves and, and, and their work and have as little filter between their work and the audience as possible. Right. And that's what's so, oh, what's so the great. the vision come out. Yeah, it's so, what's so great about today's world and, and uh, the social media and online is the ability to reach an audience. So we're trying to help them not only get their films uh, seen, by hopefully we'll do a, a caucus student film festival soon, yeah. uh, but also teaching them how to own their IPs, control the value of their project, uh, not you know protect their creative rights, their financial rights. So we're, we're you know they're at film schools, they're learning how to make movies. We're kind of teaching them how to be in the business. Sure. With so many changes and new studios, and of course the internet opening more and more opportunities right. for people to watch what they want rather than what the network is wanting them to watch. Right. What advice do you have to a young creative that has an idea? They know what audience. They, they can, you know, get out there and reach that audience. They just need a platform to show their work. I think the advice that, that I, I would give more than um, to them creatively, because there's no excuse not to make a film and get something out there. You've got home editing tools, you've got friends, you know, find collaborators to work with. But create something that um, that, that, that has an intellectual property element to it that you can maintain and build on. So if you're going to invest time and effort into a movie, you don't want that movie to just come and go away. You want that movie to establish a brand that, that can connect to a lifestyle that you're doing. So if you do a movie about rodeo mm -hmm. or about motorcycle riding or whatever, realize that the people are going to watch that are going to be the people that are into that. And yeah. how can you connect to them? And how can you then uh, bring them in as your audience and market to them what you're doing? So it's, it's really trying to figure out, how, as long as you're going to expend your creative energies to create something, it's not any harder to create something about a character that has some connection to, to the world. Um, that you can not just have a one-off and then go on to the next project, but 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 capitalize on it and build on it. Yeah. Well, these days that's so true. Whether it be spinning the movie into a TV series or merchandising or a right. live stage show right. or or becoming a, a uh, an influencer. Yeah. You know, if it's about something and people connect to you, and they they then look to you for for information about a particular area, and you can provide it. There's going to be companies that do business in those areas that are going to come to you and maybe pay you to create some media that reaches people that promotes their product or their business or whatever it is. So you can really, you know, build build in, uh, your project into something in, in today's world. Um, you know, there's too many examples of starting small and yeah. getting huge. But, sure. but think about it in advance. You figure out where you can go and create something that, that will allow you to get there. Well, getting people's advice. attention is definitely a valuable commodity advice. these yeah. days. Yeah. We appreciate all that you do and wish you oh. a great evening. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. And hopefully somebody gets inspired by this. <laughs> and if you do, look me up on social media and let me know what you're doing. Thank you so okay. much.